What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Fun Rise Friday. I haven't done one in a long time. Um, I want to show you how things are looking with Funrise. Um, <laughs> I'm being a little frugal right now, as you can tell, it's a little dim. Um, I'm going to save as much money as I can in the summer. Sometimes I can get my bill up to $25 to $30 a month. Obviously, during the night, you know, sleeping, it's one thing. Or during exam time, I want the temperature at a good, at a good um, temperature. You know, I don't want to be sweating my butt off. But it's, you know, like 74 degrees over here in Ohio. It's beautiful. So open those windows. Save some money. Save some energy so you can start buying some dividend stocks. So let's check this out right now. Okay, so my account right now, I'm at $12,655.62. Um, I earned $104.46, uh, 69 uh, 69 with appreciation. Uh, it is really nice to see the progress that I made. I made $2,355.63. Uh, right now with dividends and appreciation, this is what I like about the balance. So with the appreciation, okay, it's the uh, portion of the estimated return that comes from changes in the net asset value of the shares pre presented. Net asset value reporting typically does not begin for a year or more after the launch of an offering, after which the net asset value is typically, typically updated quarterly or semi-annually. So obviously with the pandemic, net asset value might be hurting a little bit. Uh, the dividends, obviously, the div Kind of the goal is with these dividends, and I probably, eventually I'm gonna need to start throwing some money into these guys. I mean, I do have a goal of having a $100,000 um, dividend portfolio with these guys and probably even going further. But I need to start putting a little bit of money in so I can start earning a really good passive income. Obviously right now I'm reinvesting the dividends. I put a $10,000 pretty much payment down and I started putting more money into Funrise and it's really paying off. Uh, the Funrise eFund is what really excites me. So this is basically where I'm getting money off of my appreciation. Uh, it is the net returns are $367.19. They merged like the DC one, uh, the, uh, what was the other one? DC, like the West Coast rate, and the East Coast rate all into one. Uh, so, you know, this is what's exciting. Um, it's starting to stabilize and ramp up. So I'm really starting to rack up the cash flow because, you know, these are all rental properties, single family rentals, and the appreciation is what really sets the damage and the firepower for the dividend portfolio. So that's why I like the balanced fun because if something happens, I at least get other, um, you know, the dividends, I at least get some dividends from Funrise. And, you know, I'm just ramping up. It's really exciting right now, just ramping up and ramping up and getting even stronger with my uh, dividend portfolio. So there's a lot of acquisitions that are made, um, apartments, uh, single family rental development, uh, apartments, Nashville construction complete, Charlotte apartments, uh, mixed use development in Denver, it paid back. So there's a lot of developments that are being made. And that's what's exciting about the E-Fund. The E-Rate is starting to get bigger. Okay, the growth E-Rate, it's operating. So, you know, I have $10.45 in unpaid dividends. Um, I'm getting some on appreciation. So I'm getting a lot of stuff coming in from my portfolio. The interval fund is the one that's really interesting. Uh, you know, I have all these shares. Is it even ramping up? It's just starting to ramp up. So these are, uh, you know, mostly rental properties. Um, An interval fund is really interesting, which I went over um, before, but I'll be glad to go over it again. Let's see if I can fund details. So the Fundrise Real Estate Interval Fund, it calls itself The Fund, is an unlisted closed-ended management investment company that is operated as an interval fund. 
This fund intends to elect to be taxed as a real estate investment trust under the inner internal revenue of 1986, da, 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 da. Okay, this fund pursues its investment objective by investing under normal circumstances at least 80% of its net assets, okay, in a diversified portfolio of a private real estate and publicly traded real estate investments. Such investments may be compromised by the following primary asset classes. Primary commercial real estate investments, primarily in the form of equity and debt, and publicly traded real estate debt equity securities. The CRE assets underlying the fund's private CRE and publicly traded real estate securities include office, retail, multifamily, and residential and individual properties. So here's the prospectus. So this is really cool, okay? So basically that's what it's saying. The fund's investment objective is to seek to generate current income while secondarily seeking long-term capital appreciation with low to moderate volatility and low correlation on the border markets. There can also be no assurance that the fund will achieve its investment in objective. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel very confident in this, and I'm very glad that I did invest in Fundrise. By the way, if you are interested in signing up at Fundrise, I have my affiliate link in there. So feel free to uh, click that in the description. So the income E-rate, you know, it's, you know, a lot of people like the income part, but I'm all about the appreciation because I'm in an apartment complex right now and an apartment complex basically, you know, rent always increases. So that's basically when the appreciation kicks in and that's when things are exciting. So you notice I don't have any advisory fees right now. That's part of the affiliate link right now. Um, if you click that and sign up under my name, you know, you, I don't get any fees for X amount of months. I don't really get a lot of advisory fees, but um, if you sign up, you know, I would that would be fantastic if you do it under my name. It's a, you know, token of appreciation, ah, appreciation, but um you know, you can get your friends to sign up under your name and you don't have to do advisory fees. So, you know, that's one thing that you can do if you sign up with Fundrise. Again, there's no guarantees. I'm not a financial advisor, but I really like the way things are kicking in uh, and how they're really um, starting to do some damage. So I'm excited as a dividend investor with this and I wanna see how things are going. So uh, I'm gonna continue to reinvest the dividends. Again, you know, I pay like 140 some dollars for car payment a month. Um, that's in a few years, that'll be due. Um, you know, that's really helping with my credit score. I have, I think it, I bought a Tempur-Pedic bed a few years ago. That's almost due, so that's 80 some dollars. So I have some decisions to make with, the, with that money that I'll owe in the long run. Um, you know, I can throw it in investments or other things. Uh, I also, with um, Rich Uncles, with their BRICS rate that basically just is gone, I could throw that into Fundrise also. So that's one thing that I have considered uh, doing. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of the BRICS rate, but it is going to be a pretty big, it's going to be a decent loss. I mean, if things were looking really good, um, I would be in pretty good shape, but with that, but you know, the pandemic hit, the net asset value in the buildings uh, happened, and the rate was no more because it was such a small um, portfolio. It was going to be very exciting to see it grow, but you know, that's what happens. You take risks as an investor. I'm taking a risk in Fundrise. I'm taking it, you know, a risk investing in stocks like AT and T. I mean, things change. You adapt, and that's how things are. So let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. And happy Fundrise Friday. Uh, I promised you guys I would do a video. A lot of you guys were uh, messaging me on Twitter and um, Instagram to do that. By the way, don't forget to follow my Instagram and my Twitter accounts. Uh, it is in the description. Uh, if you guys are interested in signing up for fundraising and, and still M1 Finance still has that special going on.
So I just want to let you know. You guys take care and have a good one.